think about the, the keto meal principle, that is uh, the principle of splitting and stopping the key in the specific points of the okay's body, we see that when we press with the hara his shoulder, naturally the okay would attempt to, to make some reaction here and then push us back. It's important to study how to use these reactions for us. From here, we have to reach this angle. But if we move just like this and let his elbow free, he'd have all the conditions to contract his forearm, his arm, his shoulder and his chest. Uh, and then he'd find how to transmit all the movements from the hara to here and he could uh, attempt some kaishi ko or some counterattacks. In order to keep his ki always retained, it would be quite useful to use both the hands, uh, restraining his elbow in this direction. Our hands, in this case, uh, would be set as two poles, and uh, we find that we have some unko here. Unko means the study of all the circles and their projections in spirals. From here then, both our hands, as I said, are two poles and these poles should, should change. So this hand will make this and this hand will just spin like this. If we just perform this movement, we have a circular movement. But then our hara should press at this point and then we have a spiral. This spiral can restrain his elbow next to his chest This position makes it very easy for me to use some strong levers. You'll notice that this movement won't come downwards, as could be my jujutsu, but will spin. This movement will start here and will end here. Ligaments, muscles and tendons affect the relative stability of the articulations. The articulations of the knee and shoulder, in which the configuration of the bones is not particularly stable, the tension in the ligaments and muscles strongly contributes to the articular stability. The angle of insertion in the greatest part of the tendons and the bones is so that when the muscle develops contraction, the articulated extremities of the bones in the articulation crossed by those muscles get closer, favoring articular stability. This situation is usually observed when the muscles in the opposite sides of an articulation produce tension simultaneously. The angles proposed in Kopo create technical design such that the muscular usage as a factor of articular stabilization becomes very difficult. In a second analysis, the angles very often end with the members of the body in positions that are very unusual in daily activities. This is related to the lack of coordination in these angles and positions and make it difficult to react when the technique has been applied. We are here and we just turn, we spin, we have uh, some very serious injuries in his shoulder. The first image you can see a normal radiological aspect of a right shoulder. In a second, there is an example of a posterior luxation. We should also consider that this movement affects the shoulder in a circular way in a diagonal plane. You can take a look at the complexity of the structure of the shoulder. In case of luxation, the cartilaginous ring, called it labrum, can be torn or even ruptured and dislocated, which means a high risk of reluxation. A rupture of the rotator cuff muscles can accomplish the whole instable situation and lead to the instable shoulder with recurrent luxation without adequate trauma. Also, due to the circular nature of this movement, there are great possibilities of serious injuries in the muscles, tendons, ligaments and soft tissues of the shoulder.